Hello and welcome to today's video on goal setting. Here is everything you need to know about goal setting in National 5 PE. You need to know what is goal setting, what the SMART principles are, what types of goals there are and why performers set goals. What is goal setting? Goal setting is essentially about setting targets. It's about thinking about something you want to happen in future and then thinking about how you as the performer are going to get there. It's about creating an action plan which will help to motivate and guide you or a group towards a common goal. This is a continuous process for athletes. If goals are met, then new targets will be set to ensure that they are continually improving. Goal setting is not just something in which elite performers and elite sports people can use. You yourself can also use this in your day-to-day -day life and you will have had some experience of using this so far. You'll have had experience of setting target grades at the start of the year with your teachers through conversations about what you want to achieve in each subject. And you may have created some simple to-do lists when you have been at home. This may be making your bed every day or agreeing to do the dishes every night for your parents. So why set goals and why set targets? Well, athletes will set targets to help them focus on their own performance and ensure that they are constantly improving. When they're setting goals, these can be classified as short-term or long-term, and we're now going to look at what short-term goals are and what long-term goals are. Short-term goals, what are they? Well, the clue is really in the name. Short-term goals are daily or weekly tasks which can be easily met. Lots of short-term goals will keep you on track and ensure that you are heading towards your long-term goal. During your training programme, you can set daily targets, which could be completed for every training session, or you may choose to set weekly targets. Here are some examples of short-term goals. This particular student has set himself a long-term goal of achieving a Grade A pass in National 5 Maths. Now, that target is at the end of the year, so what are they going to do each day and each week to allow them to get there? Well, they're going to set a series of short-term goals. For example, they may choose and agree to turn up to class on time. They may decide that they're going to hand in their homework in on time every week. In class, if they are stuck, they're going to ask questions and they're going to ensure that they fully concentrate in each lesson. So these are some short term targets that they're going to do every day and every week to ensure that they are on track to meet their long term goal of getting a grade A pass. The second type of goals are long term goals. Long term goals, as it says in the name, take a long time to complete. These are goals which may take up to a season or at the end of a training program, they may take a few weeks to achieve. They may seem unrealistic or unattainable for performers. So it's important that we set a series of short term goals to break this big goal into small chunks. And this will help them to reach their long term goal. When setting goals and targets, it's important that we use the SMART principles to create SMART goals. SMART is an acronym which stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Recorded and Time. So, the SMART principles. Your goals need to be specific. What we mean by this is they need to be specific to you and your weakness. They may also need to be specific to your level of skill or your level of fitness. Your goals need to be measurable. And what we mean by this is your goals need to give you a start point that you can compare back to in future to see if you have met that goal. Your goals need to be achievable. This means they need to not be too easy or too difficult. They need to be realistic to your level of performance. Your goals need to be recorded, and this is really important to help make sure that the performer is accountable for their goals. They need to be written down or stored somewhere. This could be in a training diary, or it could simply be written down by a coach. And your goals need to have a time period. You need to make sure that you create a time period for you to complete these goals within. This could be within a year, it could be within eight weeks, it could be within a season. At National 5 PE, you'll be asked why the performers set goals. On screen now are some reasons why performers set goals. Performers will set goals and targets to help them keep focus when training. If they set short term targets, this allows them to focus on one specific weakness in each training session. They'll set goals to help them maintain motivation. If they are struggling for motivation, they can look at their goals and they can see how far they've come and what they're trying to work towards. If a performer is seen to be meeting their goals and meeting their short term targets, this will help them to build confidence and make them feel good about themselves as if they feel like they are getting better. Goal setting can be a useful method of getting feedback on your performance and allowing you to measure if you are improving. 
And lastly, it will allow them to check for progress over a period of time and they can see that they have met their goals over a number of weeks. And this will, again, help them to build confidence and maintain motivation. Thanks for watching this video on goal setting. I hope you found it useful. You should now have an understanding of different types of goals, long and short term, what the SMART principles are and why performers set goals. If you're looking for more content on National 5PE, there is more on my YouTube